four, three, two, one, release, release, release. Richard Branson is one step closer to realizing his dream of space travel. Virgin Galactic Spaceship Two flew its first unmanned solo test flight in the Mojave Desert. The spacecraft was released at 45,000 feet from its mothership and then glided safely to Earth on Sunday. New York Magazine's Daily Intel sees the test flight as a boon for private individuals and corporations to rule the final frontier. Forget it, public individuals. No one wants your kind in outer space. The significance of the test flight isn't lost on daily tech blogger Tracy McDaniel either. Dear Earthlings, mark this date. On October the 10th, 2010, the mothership dropped its first successful payload from space. In the blog, The Hill, Branson says, The sky is no longer the limit, and we will begin the process of pushing beyond to the final frontier of space itself over the next year. Gearlog blogger Daniel Levine thinks private investment in space travel is good for the consumer. Hopefully this means the price of a ticket will decline to a somewhat affordable point in which an average person will be able to purchase a ticket without wiping out their bank accounts. Black Book blogger Jimmy M says this is a big deal, especially for those who have money riding on it. Why is realizing the geeky fantasies of an eccentric billionaire important to the travel industry? The 370 customers who put down deposits of $200,000 each back in 2004 will most likely see their dreams of going into space become a reality. There are about 80,000 people on the waiting list. So what do you think about Branson's dreams? Houston, we have a problem or ready for liftoff? I'm Jim Flink for Newsy.com. Multiple sources, the real story.